I'm T-Pain from impatientprogrammer.net. This is PySide and PyQT Q button groups in three minutes. This is not Q Republican groups or Q Democrat groups in three minutes. That would be boring. Now let's talk about nerdy code stuff. <laughs> All right, Q button group is an invisible way to group buttons together, usually used for regular or toggleable buttons, checkboxes, or radio buttons. For radio buttons, this is particularly useful. Q button group is not a widget so it cannot be added to layouts or be visible in any way. Let's look at a simple example. Here's a simple Q button group example. We have our simple import functions, a print button function, our widget being created, our buttons being added to the widget, button groups being created, buttons being added to the button group, and finally the button clicked function being connected to the print button declared up above, and finally the end of the program. If we run it, we see that the last button has no effect on the other two despite being under the same parent widget, like we learned in the first tutorial. So we have two radio buttons being selected simultaneously. When either of the first two buttons is clicked, however, notice that the address of the buttons is then printed out. Cool, so Q button groups can be used to signal if any button is pressed, clicked, or released. I do not have to create connections for each of these buttons. Instead, the group listens for the clicks. How cool is that? So how else can you use Q button groups? Now, here is a terrible example. I will not get into what I'm doing. But here in the UI that pops up for this demo, it says, what kind of person are you? A cat or dog person? And it creates a toggle between these two. Then are you vegetarian or meat eater? And there's a toggle between these two. And finally, group or evil. So these are three different button groups for the first two second two and third two. Now, this is actually a terrible example, but I wanted to illustrate the power of different button groups being used for radio buttons that are immediately next to each other under the same Q widget parent. So why is this terrible UI design? First off, it's not clear to the user that this stuff is in pairs. Next, the layout leaves a bunch of dead space over here on the right-hand side. And finally, people can be neither or both of these things, so checkboxes would be more appropriate. I know personally that I am good and evil, so I should have that option. And now for some useful functions for Q button groups. Add button can be used to add any button widget to this button's group, and again, does not affect the layout. Button clicked is used to signal whenever any of the buttons within the group are clicked. Excellent work, buddy. Exercises in the description. If you would like to see a practical application built from scratch, check out my tool development series linked in the description. Thank you to all my wonderful patrons, and as always, like, subscribe, and keep the dream alive.